are still with us or you just joined us, still Enterprise Weekend on Enterprise Television. Now let's move to our main conversation for today. Barrister Evans Ufeli, a prominent business owner and legal practitioner, has taken decisive legal steps to combat the issue of open defecation plaguing the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Ufeli, whose office is situated adjacent to the heavily trafficked highway, has issued a formal demand to the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation calling for immediate intervention to address the unsanitary condition affecting the area. In a demand a letter dated June 14, 2024, Ufeli, represented by his solicitor, Uche Ozo Dinobi Esquire, highlights the severe impact of open defecation by homeless individuals, urchins, and miscreants on his business. This unsightly and unhygienic practice has led to pervasive foul order that infiltrates his office, causing insignificant embarrassment and operational disruption. Ufeli's letter implores the Attorney General's office to take swift action to remedy the situation within 14 days of receipt. Failure to do so, Ufeli warns that he will resort to legal proceedings to seek redress for the damage incurred. And still, with us in the studios, as um, Barrister Vance Ufeli himself. Thank you so very much for um, very hanging much. on. And um, yeah, so let's get into uh, this. Um, uh, very uh, much, and this is a public interest litigation. Yes, and um, I would love you to maybe bring us up to speed. You know what informed it, and why you're doing what you're doing. Well, um, it's a public concern, um, and it's an obligation we all owe to one another as a people to keep our environment clean. In fact, every state government have what you call the Ministry of Environment. And the office oh. is saddled with the function to ensure that the environment is clean for all our sundry, mm. to avoid outbreak of diseases mm. and um, uh, issues that may affect the health of people generally. Now, it is wrong and against public policy for people to indulge in open defecation, okay, because of the environmental hazards and um, uh, the health implication, what it could possibly cause in the long run. Today, Lagos State and so many other states are battling with cholera, okay, because it's a waterborne disease, and then people have engaged in, you know, some of these unhygienic practices that have led to the outbreak. Now the state is going to spend a fortune to tackle that pestilence or epidemic. But we could have prevented it, okay? Now, there's open defecation on the expressway. This road took a long... In fact, in the history of roads in the world, <laughs> this is the road that I've taken the longest. I remember far, far, far back, so many years ago, when we were plowing through that road as kids, we were told that the road is under construction. Now we're adult. We're not just adult, but we're now men contributing to the society. The road was still under construction. Not too long ago, they finished this trench of it. A trunk, a road, we mean ordinarily is a road that should be compared to an international road. Because from this road, you can, you know, move through many states on this axis. And on the other axis, from there, you can even go out of... Uh, uh, the country to that road. So, immediately the road was completed at this axis. We noticed that some people have been defecating at the, you know, the middle channel of the dual carriageway. And they've been doing that for so long a time under the watch of the Ogun State Government and the Lagos State Government and the federal government that owned the road. So this open defecation has gotten to a point where we need to do something about our citizens that are in discipline, those who say they are homeless, and whatever it is, is their physical or mental challenge that will lead them to go to the expressway to defecate in the afternoon. There are investors from other countries that apply that road. 
they see our citizens defecating in the afternoon, what kind of image are we showcasing to the world in that regard? So this is one case of indiscipline. Mm. This is one case of man's inhumanity to man. It's a case of lack of patriotism. And our people must be shown the way to progress. And how do you do that? It's for the government of the respective state and the federal government. That is why in this suit, we are joining the Attorney General of Lagos State and the Attorney General of Ogun State and the Attorney General of the Federation to ensure that they do the needful, set up whether a tax force or whatever it is you want to set up, deploy men to ensure that their citizens are prevented from defecating on the expressway. Okay. That's one. Two, organize adult education on hygiene, on cleanliness, on so that you can protect the environment from this kind of malfeasance. You see, if you do not school the citizens enough, whatever development whatsoever you put in that state, they will reduce it to what they understand. And that's what we have done to that road. They budgeted so much money to complete that road. In fact, the money they used to complete that road was from Delta State. The money that Ibori are taking from the coffers of the Delta State government and are taking it to England, where he was apprehended and tried and convicted. After his conviction, some years later, the United States government called the Nigerian government and handed over a huge sum of money that only belonged to Delta State. Mm. The federal government redeployed it to the to completion of the Lagos Iban Expressway, the Abuja Kaduna Expressway, and, and one other road. So it is painful that people who own businesses like me in the Axis will be doing will be doing our businesses and will be facing open defecation and will have a government. Huh. So we are calling the government to come and see what is going on. We had written a letter, they did not reply. Now we want to file for an order of mandamus. An order of mandamus is an equitable remedy that impels an institution of government that is in dereliction of our duties to go and carry out its function or to compel the actions and inactions of her citizens and to bring normalcy to anywhere where there is disruption and um, things like this that, that we have seen. Mm. That's one. Two, the larger implication is to the, the bigger society. It rains. Now it's raining. When it rains, the, the, the excretors, the defecation and all that, water channels it, pulls it, and take it into the sea, into the Ogun River. Some persons are in one end of the Ogun River using that water to cook. To cook. Some places are at one end of the Ogun River fishing. The fishes are contaminated. The, you, see the, you see the chain of it. Mm. So at the end of the day, it is still back. That, that, that river, that defecation, is going to come back to feed society. So I'm saying that is not how to live. That's not how to live. So this is avoidable. Even the cholera we're talking about, it's not all connected to these kind of activities. Okay, and so many more other diseases that, you know, this water and all that we, we, we get to people. So it is our duty as citizens, as lawyers, as civil society group, not to, to ensure that people within our vicinity mm. do the right thing. They must be patriotic enough. They must be citizens if they want to be citizens. But if they don't want to be citizens, the government know what to do with them. Okay. They don't want to be citizens, they will be taken to where you keep people who have failed in their responsibility mm -hmm. as citizens. There's a place where you keep them. Mm -hmm. When they commit offense, you keep them in penitentiaries all over the world. You keep them there until they get enough reformation to be able to now cohabit in a civil society. All right, so when you say um, uh, what's happening is actually um, you know, occurring, uh, under the watch of uh, Ogun State and all the related um, states that make use of that particular road. Now, there is no doubt you have the local standi. 
you know, and the right to sue on this particular case. Um, but does that necessarily mean that you will be successful with your application, knowing that the defendants might come up to say um, they have no control, you know, on this miscreant who take good use of that particular facility for their, you know, number twos and their hoopses. Do you think it's necessary that you might? No state can sustain that argument. <laughs> really? No state, yes, that it does not have control of its citizen. Then we will now tell the state that we'll make an application to the president of the country to declare a state of emergency on that state. Yes, you don't have control. <laughs> That's what it means, because if a governor or a government, a, a state government, as it were, a sub-sovereign, says he does not have control of its citizen, what it means is that he's not able to put his state together, and the state of emergency will be declared. The governor will be removed. If you bring a state, uh, uh, an administrator, who will be able to do something about the circumstance under reference. That environmental pollution is war all over the world, go and read the Geneva Convention and the international laws on environmental uh, sanity. We are violating very stringent environmental. You see, you see this Ogun River we are referring to, where these excretors and human defecation will pass through. This water flows into another country. You don't understand what I'm saying? Okay. It flows into another country. So you must, they, each time, they release the water from the dam in Cameroon. It flows into Nigeria, right? It flows into mm. us from Nigeria. It flows into other That's... countries, into communities. In fact, in some places in Kogi, it flows into the houses of people. So uh, if you have transient open defecation in Cameroon, for example, when the flood comes, because when it rains there, it will take all the human excretion into their waters. And when it gets filled up, they will release it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So when they release it, what they are releasing is human excreta into Nigeria. That's what it means mm -hmm. if they have open defecation there. Then from here that you have a flood, it gets into people's houses, that's what you are doing. So we have sewage system. If the citizens are homeless, it is the responsibility of the government. It is hereby accordingly declared that sovereignty belongs to the people through which government derives our legitimacy. That the security and welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of government. It is government responsibility to give them accommodation. Yes, where to stay. They are homeless. And they are in your state. You cannot, because they are Nigerians, they have a right under the constitution mm -hmm. to live anywhere. Yeah, definitely. But what they don't have a right to do is to defecate anyhow. Nobody has such right in the constitution because it's a civil society. And because we're not animals, we're human beings with higher level of intellection. Even, even animals, the cats and the mouse you see, also mind the way they defecate anyhow. So before you to go to the express way in the afternoon, broad daylight, where everyone is moving, you are doing that. In fact, the government need to even take part of our citizens for psychiatric evaluation. For psychiatric evaluation, because some of these states are breeding lunatics. And the governor should be held responsible. The Ministry of Environment should be held responsible. The Ministry of Health should be held responsible. There's a collective chain to this. Some of these people may not be okay. I don't think it is normal to go out on the expressway in the afternoon and be defecated. I think there must be some, psycho, some psychotic issues going, going underneath that we must look at. And to save our citizens and ourselves from the pollution and the hazard, the health hazard, <coughs> that's the implication of this kind of conduct. The government, the people, civil society, the communities must all come together to have a, a conversation on this issue. It's not just a one-man show. We must have a conversation on this issue to keep our society and our communities clean. That way, we'll have health longevity. We'll have, you know, an environment that is clean enough. We'll not be falling ill. So people can now conserve their resources to uh -huh. do 
other things All other right. than to treat themselves oh right. as uh, beautiful as your submission you know sim um uh, the, the chain of uh, complaints you know people would say um is is categorized in cadres and a lot of people would say don't you think it's it would have been better you know taking these complaints affects to parliamentarians representing this community it start from from there there are local um, traditional rulers in charge of this community don't you think it's it's better off to start from that cater before taking it um uh, to where you have um no the government is the government that controls the traditional rulers oh. so you understand so why duplicate function you write to the attorney general of the state the attorney general is the chief law officer of the state you are not saying that Okay, if between now and the time we wrote the letter, if they if they deploy people, begin to organize, call for meeting and all that, mm. and the problem is called, we don't need to go to court. Okay. There's no point. That's why even if you rush to court, court will ask you, what did you do? Exactly. In fact, they must see a letter you wrote in your pleadings. So the court will know it's not dealing with a busybody. They must see the letter, the effort you put in to ensure that this matter was addressed, that failed. So that is why in half it have it, you see there's a paragraph that says that this is the last resort. Oh. Having written a letter, having oh. organized this, having met this, oh. having met that, this oh. is the last resort. So it's not just to go to court. The idea is to stop. If we can stop that without going to court better, but if you can, because even the institutions you are, you, are, you are talking about do not have punitive authority like the court will do. So when you approach the court, the court will do the needful. But if through your, your advocacy at the group of the community and they're able to solve the problem, fine and good, the target mm -hmm. is to end that behavior. All right. So um, um, finally, uh, looking at the local school um, or the the place in question that we're talking about about now. The locus in quo. Yeah, the locus in quo. Sorry. Um, very close to this particular place, we have Kara Market, a popular livestock, you know, market. And um, what affects one affects another. Uh, what do you think um, sh the the community should should do in the interim? You know, to to ensure that this stops while we, we see what um, how the the yeah. The, now, now that you have mentioned, now goes. that you have mentioned Kara, there's a water under the bridge, okay, where this human excreta flows into that water. That water is used to wash meat. That water mm, exactly. is used very to true. wash meat. Mm. You are, are you aware? Yeah, very true. Uh -huh. So mm. what are we washing? <laughs> we carry human excreta to put in the meat. What are you washing? So the community, that is why we're writing to the government of Ogun State. The government of they gave them that place as market to do whatever they are doing there. You understand? I don't think the government gave them that place so that people will climb the expressway and be defecating from there. I don't think that's what the, the government... So if that is not what is happening, and you are not drawing the attention of the government to it, is this what you provided this place for? This cannot be, okay? It is for the government. They don't take the government anything in one, two days. Put the tax force there. Arrest people. Charge them through the mobile court. Let them go for six months or three months imprisonment or give them community service. You understand? And all that. Let that conduct abate mm -hmm. so they can have peace in that corridor. <laughs> then... Put surveillance, eh? put surveillance cameras on light. Get, live the live life, on t let things be working around that place. So you're able to get electronic evidence to apprehend whoever wants to uh, argue otherwise. Then let that place be, you know, civil. Let's have a good life. All right, so uh, finally, um, is this particular case, is it a criminal one or a civil case? Well, it's an order. It's a civil case because okay. we're asking for an order of mandamus. An institution, whenever an institution is in dereliction of our duties, okay, you apply to the court to make an order to compel the institution 
It's not adversarial. Okay. You're asking the court to compel the institution. The state is the institution. The state will run this through their Ministry of Environment. That is the institution. Compelling them to ensure that they keep that vicinity clean. Suggestively, set up a, a tax force. Set up whatever it is you think you deem fit that can address the issue under reference. And then that, that's just it. All right. Well, that's uh, just the, about the size we have for uh, this uh, segment. And um, the truth remains that um, we can have uh, a, a, a successful um, community, uh, 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 a great commun uh, community without having a decent environment. And that's what the Barista Vance Philly is uh, pursuing in this uh, particular uh, suit. And we wish him the best, and we hope that the government will equally uh, do the needful. Thank you so very much, Barista Vance Philly, for being part of well, our show today. And most pleasure. importantly, taking on this very important course. We we'll congratulate you. Okay. Yes, so, and um, that's just about the size of our package once more. Thank you so very much for being part of it. Please do well to visit our website at www.enterprisetvnews.com and also like, comment, and follow us on all our social media platforms at Enterprise TV 7. I am Henry Ikwebike. On behalf of the entire team of Enterprise Television, thank you for watching and bye-bye um, from us. Enterprise TV, a tradition of truth.